What's going on guys? So today's video is slightly different to my normal videos. What I'm going to be speaking about today is binge eating. Binge eating. Now binge eating, you may assume it's when, you know, Christmas comes around or Thanksgiving and you have a little bit too much cake, a little bit too much turkey and just a few little treats. It's not the same. When I was binge eating, I was consuming on average 10,000 calories a day on average and I kind of wish I honestly wish I had recorded that because a 10,000 calorie video every single week I'd be a YouTube superstar so when I first started training my eyebrows certainly weren't this long yeah what is that about so when I first started training I knew nothing about nutrition calories or anything like that all I knew is that if you train hard you can lose a bit of weight so initially I started the whole cardio and then I was doing boxing and then weight training and then sprints and then hit training a bit of everything to be honest but all I was eating every single day was 1800 calories that was it so I was literally eating 1800 calories every single day irrespective of how many times I was training and there was probably times when I was training three times a day seven days a week so I was putting my body under an immense amount of fatigue overtraining to the point that I would go to sleep at night and I'd literally cry plus I knew nothing about how to eat more in terms of volume and lower calories at that particular time I've got a video on that but that's where I struggled. So I would eat like a fish finger sandwich, which would take up like five, 600 calories of my 1800 calories a day. And then you're training three times around that you're really gonna start to realize that you're just constantly hungry. And I did that for about 12 to 18 months. Granted, I got to literally around 5% body fat. But within that process, I lost a lot of weight through losing fat and muscle. So when I actually stopped boxing and my goals changed, I still stuck on 1800 calories. But obviously now I was socializing more, I was working. Then what would happen is on the Friday where you kind of let your hair down, I would just gorge on food. And when I say binge, I mean absolutely binge. It was almost like, it's like I hadn't eaten ever. And I also got into a habit of going to the cinema. I didn't give a shit about the film. All I cared about was getting two bags of pick and mix, which would cost me like 15 quid. There'd be one of chocolates and one of sweets. I'd then get popcorn, I'd also get nachos, and if I had time, I'd try and get a hot dog as well. And I'm not exaggerating, I'd probably spend about 50, 60 quid just on the food. So for me, going to the cinema was more about, let's eat everything that I can eat. So I'd do that on a Friday, then Saturday, I'd recover the next morning, then I'd go out for drinks. And what I found is, especially when I drank, I would just go crazy. I would lose any sort of logic. It'd almost be like, okay, I've drank now, eaten this, I might as well carry this on. And so the cycle would be going. But one of the problems I had was that I have an OCD. And even till this day, I log all of my calories. Vodka, beer, popcorn, hot dogs, cheeseburgers, whatever it is that I've eaten. Come Sunday, now this is the last day before the old Monday kicks in, I do about the same. So within those three days, my calories from an average of 1800 had sharp to almost around 3000. Come Monday, I would absolutely hate myself. I would literally sit there and think, I'm the worst person in the world. How could I lose all discipline? How could I let myself do all of that stuff? And I would self-sabotage myself. I literally train three times a day back to 1800 calories. Sometimes I'd even eat less. Sometimes I'd even drop it to 1200 calories for at least Monday and Tuesday. And I'd be training and I'd be depleted my mood, my libido, everything was all over the place. Wednesday, I'd pick it back up to 18, Thursday, 18, Friday, exactly the same cycle. And it got to the point where, because I always had abs, I got a bit complacent until I started to realize, this just can't be healthy, putting all of that bad stuff in, into my body every single day. And I noticed that, but more so in my mental health, I was just feeling really, really low. I hated the fact that Monday to Thursday, I hated myself, and then Friday to Sunday, I'd enjoy myself, but it only be through a means of eating and drinking. So, um, something had to change. Now, for me, there's a couple of things that I used in order to help me. Now, I apologize if this video is going on a bit, but I do appreciate if anyone is here at this point, and you've had here, why did I say it like that? If anyone is here at this point, I'd really appreciate if you just drop a comment below and let me know that you're here. If you've ever experienced anything remotely similar to this, it'd be interesting to know. So going back to my point is something had to be done. So the few ways that I got around this was hypnotherapy and then I adopted flexible dieting. Now flexible dieting is brilliant. And if you follow me on Snapchat, although I have moved over to Insta stories now, which I feel is just a bit of a better place, I show a lot of my food. And a lot of my food isn't chick 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 Let's try again. A lot of my food isn't chicken, broccoli, and rice and fat. The last time I ate rice and broccoli was, I don't even know. So when I want a chocolate bar, I'll eat a chocolate bar. If I want two chocolate bars, 
you're damn right I'm gonna eat two chocolate bars. I never beat myself up, I never eat less the next day and create a yo-yo effect. I'm literally happy, so I can eat food now guilt-free. I, I just see food as fuel. Yes, the quality of the food matters, and I fully understand that, but for me, having had this binging disorder, I just feel that it's more sustainable for me to just do it this way. But that's the end of this video, so hopefully you are still with me, and you know, you found this a little bit useful at least. Um, if you're with me at this point, and you haven't already, please do hit that like button, it certainly helps this channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, and people, as always, thanks for watching. Take a sip of Ace of Spade like it's water I've been on the mountain in them Zans, but your daughter